Hello and welcome to this week's Shrine of Secrets Killer Perk build for week 20. The two perks that we got this week are a very weird combination and they have no synchronization whatsoever and unfortunately no matter which perk build I made from this, I could not get one of them to work without the other one being compromised. So bear in mind that I'm going to work on one of them, while the other one is just there for the shits and giggles. So for the first perk that we've got is one of Michael's teachables and that is play with your food. At level 3, every time you lose your obsession from a chase, you will gain a stackable bonus of increased movement speed of 5%, up to 3 tokens. However, every time you take an offensive action, you will lose a token and your movement speed will go back down. Once you have killed your obsession, if you manage to somehow get all 3 of your tokens before killing your obsession, then you will have, to, then you'll have 3 swings before you lose all your speed. The other perk is one of the clowns teachables and this is Chorophobia. At level 3, when within the terror radius of the killer, survivors will suffer from a 50% decrease in healing speed. So as you can tell from looking at the killer that I've picked, you can tell probably tell what, what are the add-ons I'm going to be using. But Chorophobia is actually really good on the really small maps and in general it really helps out. It can also go well with Nurse's Calling, but that's not what we're using. So with this perk build, we've got one perk that I'm not going to try to work with because it is very difficult to do that. And quite honestly, the other killers, I couldn't see a point in playing Trapper and I couldn't get this to work for Michael because he doesn't have level 3 Chorophobia, he only has level 1. It still would be alright, but level 3 is what we're aiming for and Hillbilly has that perk. So for the first perk that we are going to be running with these two is... Distressing. At level 3, Distressing increases the killer's terror radius, and in result, it also gives them increased blood points in deviousness. However, the blood points are not stacked, they are increased in-game actions for deviousness. This is a really good perk to use on Doctor, for example, with his increased terror radius. He will be able to put people into madness a lot easier with just his static, but combined with Chorophobia on a small map, this would work wonders. The other perk we're going to be running is Sloppy Butcher. Every time you hit a survivor, they will, they will suffer from the Mangled status effect and also have increased bleeding. The Mangled status effect may basically just decreases the speed at which they heal themselves until they have fully healed themselves. And combined with Chorophobia, this is a devastating, devastating perk to use, especially with Distressing in the mix as well. So you can see which perk I was trying to work with. So with the add-ons, we're going to be running with a Begrim Chain. When a survivor is hit by a Begrim Chain, they will suffer considerably by the Mangled status effect, and they will also receive a debuff to their action speed on repairing generators. This is a very hard add-on to work with if the killer is running with Chorophobia and Sloppy Butcher, because no matter what you do, you will suffer from the Mangled status effect. However, it is greatly you are greatly hindered with the Begrim Chain's Mangled. And for the other add-on, just to make things a little easier, we're going to run the card braided tuning guide. We all know what the card braided tuning guide does by now, but if you don't know, the card braided tuning guide decreases the charge time of the chainsaw considerably, it decreases the cooldown of the chainsaw slightly, as well as decreases the noise and the time penalty when you bump into objects. This is a great add-on to use at all times and a lot of killers who play Hillbilly and Leatherface seek it. And then for the offering we're just going to go with a jigsaw piece because we want to go to a map where that is small. There are two offerings you could pick from with this particular build. You can go with Lee Rays or you can go with the game. The game is basically a lot smaller because of the fact that it's two levels combined into one map. Whereas Lee Rays is just smaller in general and uses a lot more walls, rooms and whatnot. But you know how this goes. So this is the first perk build I've done with our Hex Ruin. Let's see how it goes. Alright, trying this again. Um, saying again because I accidentally put the wrong perk on earlier. Instead of play with food, I put on Remember Me. Well, it, I didn't even need the perk in that game, but it still kind of sucked. I heard that. She's close.
like on the Okay. Not gonna try doing a chainsaw just yet. No need to. <clears throat> Everybody's doing other stuff. There's a gen. Devon, please don't now. I don't even know if that was my obsession. I don't think it is. Where did she... Oh. She going for it. See if I can mind fuck her a little bit. Oh, my obsession. Lose him, lose him, lose him. Oh, oh, really? Really? And this is DS. Sweet. Faster. Do, do, do. Ready for it? Hey, um. Oh, screw it. Just fucking with her now. <laughs> My play with your food is now useless. That works. I'm kind of annoyed. Can't use the build to its fullest potential. Oh. I only came down here for the gen. Not even gonna lie. Oh, hello there. You got it. You gotta die. Oh. Is this the usual pallet here? No. <laughs> Enough of your shit. Am I gonna get another disconnect? Nope, she give up. These guys are more altruistic than anything. I love Red Reset. Oh. So... Wait a minute. I thought I heard the Fang Men. Could have been really wrong. I don't know if she has an Iron Will.
game. Quick game. Thanks to Corophobia and Distressing. I mean, Corophobia is... I, I personally like Corophobia. But when it's combined with Distressing, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just running around here. Like, the whole point of play with your food was completely negated when the obsession was found very quickly. And... Uh, I just don't understand. Survivors. Don't disconnect. There is literally... No problem. A low scoring game. But... I uh, got everything I needed. And... Some more points. Every point counts in game. Every single one of them. Oh well. Still got Ruthless, still pipping, so it's not really too bad. Could have been a lot better. Crack that 900k. Crack the 910k, so I'm, I'm really ready for the spirit to be released. Uh, I've got plenty of iridescent shards to get some decent amount of blood points added to my accounts. Really? Didn't even get close to using it. This one I don't understand. But uh, it, the game seems to be one of the least <coughs> popular maps amongst survivors. And I personally don't get off it very much. So, yeah. Alright, we'll go to the end screen. So as you can see, that game was pretty much done and dusted, especially after the decisive user decided to rage quit. But killers don't just give up on the decisive user, they go for them. I don't understand what the point of disconnecting and harming your teammates is. There is absolutely no hex ruin, there is nothing stopping you from working on a generator if you're not hit by the chainsaw. And I didn't hit everybody with the chainsaw, I only hit two of them, I'm not, I can't remember. The game was already that long ago. Uh, but, you know, let's go over the perks. Do I recommend play with your food? Play with your food needs something more of an incentive to work with. Not Losing your tokens every time you take an offensive action is kind of bullshit, really. If it was every time you made a successful offensive action, that would be fine. But it doesn't work like that. It's every time you swing. You could swing three times, miss twice, and then on the third one, when you actually do make contact, you've lost your stacks. And then Chorophobia. Do I recommend Chorophobia? Yeah, it's not bad. Being able to decrease the speed at which the air survivor can heal is really fantastic. And quite honestly, I reckon it'd go well on Freddy, either. Because he's, I think he's a uh, humming radius. His uh, lullaby radius is actually pretty damn decent and works like that. But I'm not sure. You'd have to double check. Distressing is a good perk to use on Doctor and some other killers. Especially if you want to try to mine game survivors, uh, but combined with this particular perk build it is fantastic. And then Sloppy Butcher, it's good to slow the game down just a little bit without using Hex Ruin because survivors will focus more on healing each other than anything else. And that's it, that is this week's survivor and killer perk builds done. Be sure to tune in next week when the next um, Shrine of Secrets comes out, and by then, so will the spirit be out. Peace.